Good evening. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and I'm here tonight for our monthly Knit Crate unboxing. Tonight I, as has been usual for a little while now, I will be unboxing the Knit Picks, Knit Picks, the Knit Crate membership box and the Knit Crate sock crate box. Um, so we will be looking at both of them and see what's in the September box. Each month there are multiple colorway options and the one that you end up with is a bit of a surprise. So it's always fun to see what I get, compare it to what you get, and yeah, it's just fun to see what's inside. Uh, the Knit Crate box uh, starts at, uh, the Knit Crate membership starts at $24.99. That includes international shipping. International shipping. Um, and you'll get 200 grams of yarn, a knitting pattern and a crochet pattern, um, plus some exclusive like coupon codes and stuff as well. And so it's a really, really good value. Um, welcome everyone. Ooh, I've got it like on the, putting the quality on my version on low. So hopefully the streaming's okay. Um, the, it looks like Knit Crate is having a cool sort of promotion going on right now. If you're not currently a subscriber and you can go and there's like a wheel of fortune you can spin and you can win up to 50% off of a Knit Crate. Um, oh good, I'm glad you could join. And so that's pretty awesome. And I think if you go um, to their website and just sort of wait, then this Wheel of Fortune will pop up. You can put in your email and give it a spin. Otherwise, you can use the coupon code CHEMNITS20 to get 20% off your first month. So if, you know, if that's a better deal than what you win, you could use that coupon code. Um, either way, um, if you use my link, and I've popped it in the description, in the chat, um, that is my affiliate link and it'll give me credit for the referral. I am a Knit Crate affiliate. They send me these crates for free so that way I can share it with all of you. Uh, but I think that I, I've written some blog posts and stuff about it. I really like the company. Um, I like that they support independent designers and dyers. <laughs> Um, and yeah, <laughs> so let's see. Um, oh, good morning. Yes, the Knit Plus Crochet is really, is really good. The Knit Crate Membership Box, that's their flagship one. And that's the only one that comes with both a knitting pattern and a crochet pattern. Um, Sock Crate comes with just a knitting pattern. The Artisan Crate, which I've never tested out, um, which features uh, 200 grams from in a different independent dyer every month. Um, that comes with two knitting patterns, one that's more beginner and one that's more advanced. Um, no, oh, it might not be just you. Let me see. Let me make sure that, because I changed it. Oh, ha, huh. maybe this will make it better. I might not have been on Wi-Fi. Whoops. Okay, I'm now on Wi-Fi, so hopefully this is getting better. And I'm glad you that before I actually started opening it. Um, let me see, because I put I put mine on the very low stuff. Okay, it's better. Phew! I thought it was just like on my end. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> I can put mine back on the low. Um, so that way I'm not like taking more of my like bandwidth or whatever. I, yeah. All right. But anyway, let's see. Now the Knit Crate membership box. I'm trying to see if, okay, I think this is the Knit Crate membership box. I could weigh them. Um, <laughs> but I like try to shake and see which one sounds like it has one skein of yarn versus two. All right, so the boxes are these gorgeous teal boxes, very happy. Um, I actually saw our mail carrier holding these down the street and I ran outside to greet him. <laughs> okay, maybe my dog was also barking, so I knew he was coming, but I did see these in his hand. Um, so I was very excited. Um, but let's open up and see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh! Oh wait, this is the sock crate. Ha! 
I guess wrong. <laughs> okay, so we're doing the sock crepe first, but ooh, look at this tonal. It's sort of an olive green, an army green. Um, and it's got, it goes all the way from like a saturated and to a much lighter version. And this yarn, it's called Tapenade. So hey, olive green, that makes sense. Um, this is 70% superwash merino wool, 20% silk, 10% cashmere. Um, and the, the sock crate and the knit crate membership boxes, those are all hand dyed by in-house dyers on the knit crate team. The artisan crates are the ones that feature different independent dyers every month. The sock crate retails for 19, uh, $19.95, which also includes international shipping. And so you always get, ooh, okay, we've got, guys, they've been updating. Oh, all right, I'll get into it in a second. All right, so this is my pretty yarn. So Knit Crate has been updating their pamphlets and stuff. And last month I was a little bummed because the printing quality wasn't quite as good as it had been in the bat in the past. These are beautiful. This is the printing quality. It's glossy. It's great. So the theme this month is dash dot or sorry dash dot dash. Um, this month's theme focuses on a modern palette with a graphic twist. Dusty tones play off wearable design into beautiful dyed yarn. This Morse code missive, dash, dash, dot, dash, is the letter K for Knit Crate. Um, it's our sign off on what is sure to be a singular set of September crates. Ooh, okay. All right, so there's two things here. Oh, wait. Oh, right, wait, now I'm confused. This I'm confused because I have a knitting pattern book and a crochet pattern book here, but there's only a hundred grams of yarn. So I'm a little confused and I don't know if they changed stuff. Um, so I will need to look that up. Okay, let's take a look at these pattern books. I like that they're separate. Um, ooh, okay, so this, and now that they have a booklet, they can tell you a little bit more about the designer. You have the printed pattern, but there's actually still a download code so that we can go and download it. Um, but here is the crochet pattern. It's called Las Manietas de, de Blanca. And it's like a, a, is it a capelet? I can't tell if it's a shawl or a capelet, but it looks like it's got like a crochet cable um, and this sort of lace detail at the bottom. Yeah, it looks like I'm short a skein because it does say that two skeins are needed for this pattern. <laughs> um, if I'm sure that if this happened to one of you um, and like I'm not going to complain because I didn't pay for this, but if this happened to one of you, reach out to them. They always have extras of the colorways because in the Membership Central shop, you can always buy additional ones. So if you ended up shorted, um, yeah, just, just reach out to them. Um, but then the designer, so the designer's name is Cecilia um, Losada, and um, oh, she's from, she's from Argentina, um, but she currently lives in Spain. And there's a discount to her Etsy store this month. Um, oh, okay, here's, a, here's another picture. Oh, I like that there's two pictures of it. Um, so it is sort of like a little, it's like a little capelet shawl thing. That's really cute. I, last month I was a little bummed with the visuals. They've improved it. I like, I like the pattern booklet. I like that there's two pattern booklets. Um, so let's see what the, the knitting one was. I mean, I liked the cards for the visual for me, like presenting, um, but yeah, although who knows, it's possible that I wasn't shortchanged and they decided for the influencer kit to maybe just send one. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, ooh. Okay, so Anne, uh, I'm gonna butcher her name, Pod, Pod Lissac, um designed this, this shawl, it's called West Wind. And this is in the colorway that I have. 
So again, there's a download code. So you can download it to your computer or directly to your, directly to your library, um, to your Ravelry library, which is really, really nice. Um, let's see what it says more about this. Yeah, two skeins are needed. So something weird. Well, hopefully I'm the only one that this happened to. <laughs> but I've now received a lot of the knit crates, and so this hasn't happened before. Um, yeah, so this looks like, I'm trying to see if I can tell anything about the shape. Oh, there's a chart. It looks like there's written instructions and charted instructions. Oh, here it is. Um, there's a little pattern description. Um, so one is a small, there's a feather pattern. It's, the shawls work from one short corner to the opposite edge, and it's designed to be worn on the bias. Um, but it's really cute. Really, really cute. I really, really like shawls. And I also love when I get the colorway that is in one of the designs. So... Here are the two designs that you get in this month. Um, well, sometimes the sock crate has tissue paper and the knit crate membership doesn't um, because uh, if they need to fill the box more. Um, wait, I was missing some comments. Um, Yeah, they, um, so they, yeah, that's, I was, con I was confused <laughs> for a minute. Um, the booklets are much better quality. Um, yeah, the sock crate usually comes with a tissue paper because there's only one. I mean, it's possible, but I would, it's possible that they were only, decided to only send influencers one, but it doesn't really make sense because, yeah, I, who knows? Again, if I was a, um, if I was a like paying customer, then I would I, actually, I might still reach out just in case like there's like a quality control issue this month or something. But if this happened to you, absolutely reach out to them. I know they will make it right. Um, I think this yarn is gorgeous and 100 grams is still perfectly usable for a lot of things. Maybe not these projects, but certainly something. And I have a little bit of sock yarn in my house right now. Um, but it's a really good deal. So normally with the 200 grams of hand dyed sock yarn, and this month it is a, like a wool silk, cash, merino silk, silk cashmere blend. Two patterns from independent designers. Um, and it includes the shipping and both of the designers are offering, um, yeah, one of them, there's 20% off patterns um, in someone's Etsy store and the other one's offering 20% off um, her self-published patterns in her store. Um, so she got to, okay, cool. So if another, if other influencers, then it's probably just an error then, um, if other influencers were getting it, but, uh, yeah, I like, I like the new, the new booklets. Last month I was a little, a little bummed with the, with the quality, but I like that they are working and listening to feedback and continually making improvements because I know that I found it a plus that um, the patterns were available as a digital download so I didn't have to store physical patterns, but I know some people don't have access to a printer or a tablet or a computer and so having them printed out already is a big plus. Um, I think both of these designs are gorgeous this month um, and I would be really happy with either one. All right. Haha. Um, yes, let me, um, I'll, I'll put the names of the designers in the chat. So the, um, and I don't have an NEA on my keyboard. And then the, and all these patterns will be available, I think, on Ravelry. Um, all right, I just dropped the names into the chat. Um, yeah, so each month, usually there's maybe four, 
there's between two to actually I've seen as many as eight different color combinations that you can get in one of the boxes. Sometimes with a sock crate, there's only one. Sometimes there's multiple. But I think that part of the fun is even if you see a spoiler, you don't know what color you're going to get. And sometimes, yes, you might be disappointed because you might not get the color that you would have gone and picked. But I like for me that it makes me think outside of my color comfort zones and it makes me think about other color combinations or things that I might not have chosen. But if I was picking my own colors, I would end up with an awful lot of teal, purple, blue, and gray. So I love sort of stretching myself. And, you know, and if it's something you really don't like, you could swap it with someone or you could try to over diet. Um, Woohoo! Hey, watching me while you're dying. That's dying yarn. Oh, whenever I say dying, I always like try to make sure I always include like yarn or something in there. But all right, let's see the sock crate. Da da da. Ooh! That is pretty! All right, so let's see. This yarn. Okay, so this is another, this is a Merino Nylon Cashmere Blend. It's 75% Superwash Merino, 15% Nylon, 10% Cashmere. Um, and we've got sort of a coral pink down to a blush pink and a denim. It's, it's like a denim blue. Um, and there's some hints of a paler blue in there as well. And so what's fun, so with the Silk Blend, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's definitely more of a sheen to it. Um, and I think, just comparing the two, the plies, I'm not sure if the resolution is going to come through. The plies on the, the Knit Crate Membership one are like a little bigger. Okay, yeah, so that's like a th three ply. I think this other one might be a four. I can't tell. Um, this one is certainly loftier, but they're both really, really, really soft. Uh-oh. Um... Ooh, I forget what color I... Wow, Suzanne! Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Um, that's really generous. Thank you. Um, oh, there was a... See, when I'm like, I'm like, ooh, I want the purple ones. <laughs> it's always the way I think. Um, your friend told me about going... They're dying and grieving. Yeah. Um... All right, so I am going to actually open this up because I want to see, ooh, okay. So this is what I like, I love, you can see the dyer in me when I take the yarn, I'm like, ooh, how, um, I love trying to fold stuff to see how it might go, but I like this. I like that, um, I like that there's like a long pink, it's like mirrored and then I like that they're short. I like I like this kind of patterning a lot actually. It's something that I enjoy doing myself with hand painting and and whatnot. Um, but uh, this is really, really pretty. Okay, I want to see what the pattern is. Um, uh, well, Suzanne, I appreciate the support of you and of all of you that are tuning in. I feel like I'm starting to get to know a lot of you and recognize your names and it's just it makes me really happy when I see you on. Okay, so this is the sock crate. Um, and let's see. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, so I will say, I look at this. And tell me what you think when first seeing this. Besides, whoa, that's cool. I looked at it and I did a double check double take because I knew that the, the sock crate comes with a knitting pattern and for a second it almost looked crocheted but it's not it's not so the pattern is called switchback and it's by Hannah Thiessen and okay I'm backwards so I'm I'm gonna put this in there Popping that into the chat for the inquiry, inquiring minds. Whoa! You can get her special offer. This is why I should pay attention to the special offers. Um, you can get a free copy of a single self-published pattern from her Ravelry store. Ooh! 
I'm gonna have to go. See, this is this is why I like one of the reasons why I like Knit Crate. So they pay their independent designers that um, you know do patterns for them, but you know, getting someone getting to put like a whole. I don't want to show the coupon code. So I'm getting to show a whole blurb about a designer and a little bit of information. I know that if I've seen a design that I really like, I'll go and check out the designer's shop. And I'm, I really like to repeat purchase from the same designers. Um, and yeah, so I think that it is like, should some, people, someone shouldn't do something just for exposure or something necessarily, although I suppose they're sending this to me for just exposure. But the I like that they are actively promoting these designers and giving their names to all of these knitters. And now I'm saying their names. And so then, you know, some of you might go check out their shops. And I think that, you know, it's it's like great. Um, I like that it fosters this sense of community because the same thing with independent yarn dyers um, in the artisan crates. Um, I know that I would go and I would want to look at the shop and see, oh, what other colorways do they do? And so, um, yeah, so, okay, there's also the download code. And okay, there is, so there's a slip, switch back slip stitch. Um, and I have never seen a stitch like this before. But I'm looking to see if there's just a written... Um, okay, so there's some like, okay, well, the reason why I was looking, I was looking at it to see if there was just a written explanation, but there is a full color tutorial. So if you're looking at this and like, how is that done? There is a full color tutorial in here. Um, yeah, I thought it was double crochet for a second myself. Um, what I wonder if says anything about it. Uh, uh oh, I don't know what that was. Um, I love busy variegated socks, but like most knitters, have a tough time using them for anything but wild simple stock and that stitch. I've been experimenting a lot lately with slip stitches and stitch patterns that called for knitting into lower rows or manipulating stitches in new ways. So I fiddled around with the switch back stitch and incorporated it into the sock. Now the variegated colorways looks painterly and really highlights a dye job in the skein. And I think that that's true. Like the effect that you have here is very similar to something you might get with crochet and that you see these bigger blocks of color. Um, and I think that this is fantastic. Um, I am a huge fan and you can see the difference, um, you know, from even the cuff and the toe um, to the main body of the sock. And it's just, this is beautiful, beautiful design work. I am really intrigued and this is absolutely going into my queue. Not that I've done socks yet. It's like, I've got the stuff that I have to knit and then I can get down onto the fun and like I have to finish Lucas's quilt and yeah. But um, this yarn, the I think this colorway is beautiful. I love pairing these colors together and it is unbelievably soft unbelievably soft and yeah I like that there is so much variety in the yarns that I get in these knit crates there's um there's been a fair amount of speckled but we've had great like long gradients um the heel and toe sock that one was a little odd but I'm opening up this one now because I, I like to get a sense of, oh, okay, that just didn't get into the tag, get a sense of how things were dyed. Okay, so this looks like, so it's a tonal yarn, but, oh wait, guys, it's dash dot dash. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So dash, oh. Okay, I guess this looks more to me like dash, 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 dot, dot, dash, 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 dot, dot. Um, let's see about this one. This looks more like, you see the dash, dot, dash? The, the, the olive green, then the dot, then the dash. I think that that is slick. 
Oh, that could be really fun to like put a message, like hand paint a message into your yarn. Um, that would be a really fun thing to do. Thank you, Nick Crate, for giving me inspiration and ideas as always. But yeah, I definitely thought that this, the sock crate pattern looked like double crochet and I am totally butchering um, this. But I like, I like that each month it is a different yarn base. And even in the, the sock crate, I haven't kept, maybe I should have done like a spreadsheet or something. I haven't kept track, but I've definitely had a couple bases a couple times between both of the crates. But I think they do a really good job of mixing it up. And I know that Knit Crate creates their own yarn bases. You can actually buy the bare yarn bases. Um, Aw, thanks. Um, yeah, it's, I just, I have a lot of fun and I like, I like Knit Crate. I like so much because I like that they support hand dyed yarns and independently dyed yarns. And I know not everyone can make it to, um, let's see if this will work. I know that not everyone can always make it to a yarn dyeing festival or like a festival with hand dyed yarns that regionally that might not be easy. And so this is just a way to bring hand dyed yarn to more people. And I know I've talked about this before, but gosh, they must have been starting off. It, this was, it was pre kids. Maybe it was 2011, 2012. I went to Vogue Dining Live in Chicago and I remember meeting them at a booth and thinking, wow, that's really cool. And like, I think they I even have, I might even have their card somewhere from that too, which I just think is fun. Um, yeah, they, the, the, the dash, the dash dot dash is the letter K. They said that on one of their, their booklets this month. Um, yeah, the, yeah, I, I just, I, I enjoy, and I think, I think this is something, and I've talked about this in my Facebook group, but it's, it's cool to look at a yarn and say like, wow, I wonder how they did that. I wonder if I could create my own version of that. Um, but it's not really kosher to look at something and be like, wow, I want to dye exactly this yarn myself. Unless, of course, you have someone who is inviting you to copy their colorways like I do. I'm giving you guys my recipes, so I'm inviting you to copy. But I do find myself inspired with the variety of techniques that, that come here. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot of fun. And it's fun to see like, oh, you know, cause this um, is likely, I have no idea if this would be hand painted or, or I think because of the scale, it's probably more likely low immersion but it is a repeating colorway versus, you know, a more random kettle dyed type thing. And so it's fun to open up a skein and see like, oh, okay, this is a repeating colorway versus something that would be non-repeating. And so this is something that could pool. Um, actually, both of these are ones that, that might pool and you could potentially use for a planned pooling project. And so the nice thing is that these crates come with the patterns that you can use for the yarn for, but you also don't have to use those patterns. If it's not your style, you could use them as an inspiration to go and find something else that's been in your queue or in your inbox or that you've been saving. And it's really gotten me to think outside the box a little bit. And so that's another reason why I really, really enjoy it. But yeah, I like I like their color inspirations and huh. And it's hard I like I try so hard to not look at spoilers each month before it arrives. Um but uh, uh oh wow, okay, I'm like now on their website looking. Yeah, I think oh I like that blue too. Um Ooh, those are pretty. Oh, I like the colors for the artisan crate too. There's like a, oh wait, I guess I don't really want to give you guys spoilers. I'd let you see. But so the knit crate membership, 
which comes with the knitting pattern and the crochet pattern and usually 200 grams of yarn. Um, this one is $24.99. Includes international shipping, although if you live internationally, it might take a little longer to arrive. If you sign up today, you will get this kit with these patterns. And as long as they have some available up through the end of September, you will get this kit. Um, and then you will be charged immediately when you sign up, and then you'll be charged again on the first of the month, every month until you decide to cancel. Um, and as long as you cancel before the first of the month, then you won't be charged. Um, but this is the only kit that comes with a crochet pattern. Um, all of the other kits have knitting patterns. Ooh. Okay, and then here in the sock crate, which is 1995, this one comes with Oh, it didn't have tissue paper. Strange. Okay. This one comes with 100 grams of yarn and one sock pattern. Um, it's always going to be fingering weight yarn, whereas the Knit Crate membership can vary a bunch. Um, good night. Thanks for joining. Um, the, the Knit Crate membership, I've gotten between, I think I've gotten from fingering to bulky. I don't think there's been lace yet. I don't think there's been anything like super bulky. Um, but I, I can't remember if there's been bulky or just like heavy worsted. I'd have to go back and look, but yeah, it's 1995 and you're guaranteed fingering weight, um, or at least a sock yarn and it'll always have a sock knitting pattern in it. Um, which is really good value because again, international shipping is included. Both of these are done with the in-house knit crate dyers. They are hand dyed versus machine dyed. Um, and then they also offer two artisan crate memberships. Um, so there's artisan crate, which is very similar to the knit crate membership where you get 200 grams of yarn each month. You get two patterns, a beginner knitting pattern and a more advanced knitting pattern. Um, you also get some fun extras or notions or something, but that features, um, that features a different, in addition to either one or two independent designers, you also will get the yarn is dyed by an independent dyer. So, I mean, I don't do the scale enough to do that, but you know, if you are interested, you can go through and look and they have contact forms for people to reach out and you can learn a little bit more about, they offer yarn support to the dyers. Um, and so then you only have to front like your, your dyes and your time. Um, and I think they handle shipping. And so I think that the, re I let the terms that they had out there seem really reasonable. Um, but so the artisan crate is $39.99 a month. Um, and then the sock artisan crate, which will give you one skein of independent dyed, um, fingering weight yarn, um, one exclusive sock knitting pattern. You've got some, one kind of like goodie or notion or something. And that one is $27.99 a month, um, which includes international shipping and is a good deal. All of the kits come with 25% off the Member Central shop. And so if you got a colorway and you love the olive, or well, the tapenade colorway, but man, that purple colorway really spoke to you and you really want it, you can go and find it in the Member Central shop. But you'll be paying 25% off retail for this, which... Um, would be, I think, I'm not checking right now, but I think with after the discount, it ends up being about 18 a skein, which is still a really good deal for hand dyed yarn. Um, so I think of a lot of different yarn based kits out there. This is really an affordable one. And, you know, they have this wheel of fortune contest thing going on right now. And actually I can show you. So when you go on their website, okay, down in the corner, there'll be a little wheel. And so this will come up. You can enter in your email address and then it'll spin. And it looks like some of the prizes are $10 off a membership, um, $25 off an artisan crate and free ship, free shipping. There's always free shipping, but maybe that means free shipping. Oh, if you order, if you order from the member central shop, you will pay shipping then, and you will pay international shipping as well. So the free international shipping is for these membership kits. Um, 
But anyway, I think it's a good deal and the company has been pretty awesome. And so I've enjoyed working with them and I'm very happy that they continue to send me yarn because it's really just, it's a highlight. The boxes, they show up, they're cheerful. You know that there's gonna be something really fun inside and it's a lot of fun to open them up. So I'm glad that I get to share them with you. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and drop in. Um, I just dropped my affiliate link in the chat again. That link will, when you go, it basically just tells them that I'm the one that referred you. And so then I get a uh, commission. Um, <laughs> but if you spin the wheel and don't get a good coupon code that you like, um, you can use my coupon code, Chemnitz20, for 20% off your first order, your first subscription. Um, just the first month of your first subscription. Um, and actually, currently, and I'm just double checking that it's still available, but recently they unveiled. Now, in addition to signing up for a monthly package, you can actually prepay for either six or 12 months at a time, which means that it's actually a little easier to give this as a gift now because you could give someone a year of Knit Crate um, or six months of Knit Crate as a holiday gift, or you could put it on your own wish list. Um, and there is some savings. So if you like, if you're gonna pay every month, it would be $24.99 a month. But if you're gonna pay for 12 months up front, it would only be $22.90 a box, which again, includes international shipping. And I don't know how they do it because I know that if I'm gonna ship to say like Europe, that can cost me about $20. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that this is an me. they must have a really good deal worked out with their distributor. Um, but anyway, I am so glad to share these pretties with all of you. I am really, really excited. And again, I don't think there's ever been a color way that I have not liked. It might not have always been the one that I would have picked if I could go and pick each one. But I think that part of the fun is that you don't know what color you're gonna get. So you can watch my unboxing and then you still get that moment of, ooh, when you open up your own box. And so I think that that makes it even more fun. But anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Um, feel free to leave a comment on the video. I am happy to reach out to the company on your behalf to ask questions or clarifications on anything. And I might be reaching out just to um, let them know, but not ask for, yeah. If this happened to you, absolutely reach out to them and let them know. And I know that they will make it right and they will send you um, your other skein. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'm the only one that this happened to. <laughs> but I can say as, someone who packages up yarn for mailing, um, mistakes can happen occasionally. And so, uh, but thankfully I ended up, when I made a mistake, people seemed to end up happy on the other end. But anyway, I hope that you all have a fantastic weekend. Um, and Shana Tova to people who are celebrating the new year this weekend, or early next week, I suppose. Um, and yeah, I will be chatting with all of you soon. So again, I'm Rebecca from Chemnitz. If you don't wanna miss one of these unboxings, make sure to subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel and I will chat with all of you soon. Good night, everyone.